A world in turmoil. 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 Daily newscasts filled with scenes of violence and unrest. All eyes seem to be fixed on the Middle East, as the scripture foretold. Clashes between Muslim states and the nation of Israel and the events of 9-11 have left many questions in their wake. For the first time, many in the West are being confronted with the driving force behind these conflicts. The religion of Islam. What do Muslims believe? Does the Quran really teach violence and killing in the name of God? Is the Allah of Islam the same as the God of the Bible? Do Muslims accept the Bible as God's word? Is Islam really the fastest growing religion in the world? Is there a difference between the peaceful and tolerant image of Islam portrayed in the media and the true Islam founded by Muhammad? The Straight Way of Grace Ministries helps the body of Christ answer these tough questions head on. The Straight Way of Grace Ministries was founded in 2003 by Usama Dakdok and his wife Vicky. Usama was born and raised in the Muslim country of Egypt, and after moving to the United States, Usama and his wife Vicky were burdened with the desire to not only reach out with the gospel to Muslims, but also to prepare Christians to share the gospel with their Muslim friends. He helps to prepare believers to be bold witnesses for the Lord in the face of this growing threat. Muslim people repeated in their prayer uh, many times during the day the statement show us or lead us to the straight way which really come from the book of the Quran chapter 1 verse 6 if they just knew the answer when Jesus answered and said I am the way the truth and the life no one come to the Father except through me and that's where really the name the straight way of grace ministry come from the request of Muslim people the answer of Jesus Christ having been born and raised in the southern part of Egypt Usama experienced firsthand the darkness and the persecution that Islam brings to a nation. Growing up in a Muslim country is very difficult for Christian. Uh, for example, as a student go to school, he learn about Islam all day long. It doesn't matter what the class is about, geography, history, chemistry. And not just the teachers are trying to influence us as a student by Islam, they also make fun of our Christian faith. And then when you finish school and you try to find a job, it is really tough. Important jobs are not given to Christian. I remember my sister, uh, she lost her job as a musical teacher. She was kicked out of school because she was a Christian. Uh, my brother in college, uh, he was kidnapped for three days by the jihadists. And uh, I remember when he came home, middle of the night, and he was crying. And uh, he came home in his pajamas. And we found that then that he was kidnapped for three days. He saw and he heard the bullets going through his friend in the same room, uh, 70, 80 bullets. And then the jihadists threw the body from the third floor. And I, I look at Europe and I look at the United States. This could happen here too. The way Islam is growing, uh, someday, if you continue growing the way they're growing, the United States will not be different than those who are in Middle East. Leaving Egypt in his early 20s, Usama traveled to Europe to help spread the gospel through live drama. This experience brought with it two additional benefits. He gained proficiency in the English language and he met his wife Vicky. They moved to the United States where Usama received his bachelor's degree in Christian education and a master's degree in missiology from New Orleans Baptist Theological Seminary. Throughout all of this time, Usama and Vicky felt led of the Lord to start an evangelical ministry to Muslims in America as well as to teach Christians about the history, teachings, and the errors of Islam, equipping the body of Christ to reach out to those trapped in the deception of Islam. As the straight way of grace ministry travel through United States, we discover the fact that most Christians do not understand the history and the truth about Islam, simply because all what they see is what they watch on TV and the media does not present the truth as a matter of fact every time I watch TV and I see different programs present by Muslim they teach the opposite of what Islam is all about and that's why I see Christian have difficulty time to reach the Muslim with the gospel of Jesus Christ and uh, one of the goals of the straight way of grace ministry is to equip believers and teach them how to present the gospel of Jesus to the Muslim. The number of different seminar topics offered by the Straight Wave Grace Ministries continues to grow. The first presentation in the series lays the foundation for those who may be unfamiliar with Islam. Revealing the truth about Islam provides believers with an understanding of how Islam began, 
gives an overview of the life of Muhammad, compares the Quran and the Bible side by side, explains the major pillars of Islam and the concept of jihad, and finally closes with an appeal for all Christians to renew their commitment in witnessing for the Lord. Muslims believe the teachings of Muhammad which are contained in a book known as the Quran. They are taught that the messages in it are the direct, perfect revelation of Allah through the angel Gabriel to his prophet Muhammad. We take an in-depth look into the many historical, scientific, and theological errors and contradictions in our seminar, Is the Quran Infallible? Finding common ground in witnessing to Muslims can be difficult because Islam teaches that the Bible has been changed by both Jews and Christians over the centuries. We take this challenge head on in our presentation, Has the Bible been corrupted? Many Christians are surprised to learn that the Quran has many passages that teach with great detail about the birth and life of Jesus. In our presentation, What the Quran Teaches About Jesus, reveals how Muhammad taught that Jesus was merely just another prophet, not the Son of God. Other popular topics are offered by the Straight Wave Grace Ministries. Women in Islam shatters the current media campaign which portrays Islam as a tolerant, peaceful religion which elevates and liberates the modern woman. Historians agree that the two most influential people who ever lived were Muhammad and Jesus Christ. Our seminar entitled, Muhammad or Christ? Who is greater? Muslims continually affirm that since he was the last and final prophet, Muhammad must be the greatest of all. But a side-by-side -side comparison of the lives and teachings of these two men leaves little room for doubt that Jesus Christ is the greatest and most influential life to have ever walked our planet. Other seminars examine the Quran's portrayal of key figures in Bible history, such as Joseph or Jonah, revealing how Muhammad copied from the Bible, but yet changed many key important facts and how he confused many unrelated events and people altogether. Many of our presentations have been specially put together to meet the specific requests and needs of groups, schools, and churches. Most Christians in America do not know that there are one and a half billion Muslim people in the world today. And the number is growing every day. That's one out of every four are Muslim. And my heart desire is to reach out to those Muslim people with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And that's why I believe this ministry is very important, to equip Christian to reach out to the Muslim. I see uh, Muslim are here around us, and we just need to look out and see the harvest to be uh, taken. Uh, Christ commands us to go to the end of the world and make disciples. Uh, we were commanded by Christ to go to Saudi Arabia, to go to Egypt, to go to the end of the world, and Christ make it even easier. He brought the Muslim here to be our neighbor. We must obey God. We must love the Muslim people. And we must present the gospel of Jesus Christ to them. And uh, I could not see any better time such as this. They are here. Some of them are deceived by Islam and some of them deceiving American by the lies they present. What about us? Can we carry the truth of the Lord Jesus Christ to them as they live among us. Let us do it together.